we need to get the feeling during the golf swing, it's those shoulders that are really taking that golf club back. The shoulders and the trunk and the shoulder blades in particular are really just stabilizing that club on the way back and working that club, moving that golf club on the way back. But sometimes it, we can't get the feeling, we can't get the sensation of what it feels like. So I see a lot of people trying to do this, okay? They're using their smaller muscles still, but they don't realize they're using their smaller muscles. And this probably goes for you as well. When you've been gone for a lesson, you might have been told something. And then to see it on the video, again, it's, it's almost totally the opposite to what it feels like. But this gives us, this drill that we're gonna to do today gives us the exact feeling that we want during the golf swing. We don't need a golf club. Again, we can, don't need a huge amount of space. We can just get that feeling for what the shoulders need to do during that swing. Here we go. So what have we got to try and do? Drop your golf club down there. And what I want you to do, take your normal golfing posture. So again, we're going to be as normal, tilted over that golf ball as we normally do. The only difference is here, obviously we haven't got a golf club, but what I want you to do, I want you to make a W with your arms and your elbows just there, with your palms facing outwards. Already you'll start to feel a bit of a strain already on those shoulders, on those rotator cuffs there. Now that's a good thing because those rotator cuffs really need to work in the golf swing. They're your stabilizers, especially for you right-handed golfers, that right rotator cuff really does stabilize that golf club at the top. So we're in that lovely W posture, slightly tilted over the ball, that W posture with those palms facing out, again, you'll feel that strain. What I want you to try and feel here is just, I want you to turn so your left palm faces out in front of you. And what I want you to feel, I want you to return on the way back, turn, 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 turn. The only difference here is we're extending on that way through like we normally do. But again, now the right palm is facing outwards towards you, the camera there, okay? So it's that turn back, turn through, extend, turn back, turn through, extend. What you will feel, you will already feel, especially if you're not used to this, you will already really feel those rotator cuffs almost burning. They'll feel like they're really working, they're really being put to action. But what that is doing, that's stabilizing that golf club. So if you notice, if you look at the elite golfers, how they do it, they swing at a huge amounts of speed, but my God, they hit the golf ball really, really straight and really, really repeatable. And it's because their rotator cuffs are really stabilizing that golf club. All they're doing is turning around in a circle, extending, using the shoulder blades and allowing that golf club to swing with them. Just so happens they've got some nice neutral positions, nice neutral grip usually, nice neutral setup. Most of them slightly different, but again, that's a bit subjective, but what they do brilliantly is work their body to work the golf club, to move the golf club as it should be. Whereas here, if we didn't use our shoulder blades, we just use our smaller muscles, we're going to chop dramatically down on the golf ball. Anything can happen. Anything bad usually can and does happen. So do this for five minutes a day. Get in that W position, palms facing out, turn back, turn through and extend. Feel that chest extending on the way through. Turn back, turn through, extend. And that is how we swing a golf club. It's as simple as that. Again, you'll feel different, you'll feel different to a lot of you, but that is how we swing a golf club. For a better dispersion pattern, that is how we do it.